It says here, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 4 and 5. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. Does that, does that sound like God is not at all concerned about the outside? Now, like I said, we need to give our heart to Him. You know, and when we give our heart to Him, it's not hard to follow the Lord's commandments. You know, when a person loves the Lord, they take the Bible, they sit down and read it, and they say, oh, this is something I'm not doing. Jesus wants me to do this. I need to start doing this. Isn't that the way it works? Amen. You see, when we love the Lord, we want to please Him. And if you read the Bible and you find things in there that you find Scripture in there that says you're doing something wrong and you love the Lord, you say, oh, I'm doing something. I didn't know this. God doesn't want me to do this. I'm going to stop doing it. It's not a big battle. It's not a big fight. It's just simply we love the Lord and we want to please Him. You know, Christians need to be mindful. The Bible says do all things in moderation. Man, there's no moderation. In, in the world anymore. And there's not much moderation in, in a lot of churches. To be reserved. Moderation means be reserved. It's so important that, that we show the world and we, let, we have a testimony with the world that our heart is right with God and we're trying our best to surrender to Him and to live for Him. When we were in Egypt, I got so upset. Muslim people, by and large, are the people you're working with and around in Egypt. And you can't do much witnessing or rather throw you in jail. But we tried to do what we could do. And you can be a witness by the way you look. Amen. Well, we got we stopped at this one place. It was a where several buses were stopped. Praise the Lord, this lady. I don't think she was part of our group. I'm sure she wasn't. But here were, here were people, Muslims, who ran businesses. It was a little shopping mall is what it was. And we stopped here. There were several buses stopped. It was outside. The weather was pretty. People could get outside. and You could get something to eat. Or you could go in and look at, buy trinkets or whatever you wanted to do. And they had music playing out there. And most people got out and went to shops or shopped around. Here was this one lady who got out. No she was dressed in a, very, a pair of very tight slacks and she stood out there in front of these Muslims and danced. Didn't she? It made a, made a scene and here were these other people. You know, here were these other people. Here were these Muslim people looking at us. This lady, was, I assume, was supposed to be a Christian looking at us as, as Christians and I couldn't help but think, my goodness, what kind of idea are they getting of Christian people? You see, the Bible says, present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God. Folks, it's important that our heart is right. It's important that our conscience is clear. It's important that we live for God all the way, that we give God everything, every part of our life. If we're going to be to live for, in God's presence, we'll have to give Him our bodies as well as our hearts. You know, sin that harms the body is sin. Not surrendering our bodies to the Lord is sin. To spend eternity with God in heaven requires people to make preparation to live in the presence of God. Let me ask you tonight. Are you prepared if the Lord would come tonight? Or if you would die? Or if something would happen? Are you prepared to stand in the presence of Almighty God? What would you, what would you say if, if suddenly tonight you were translated from this the, from this earth into the presence of God. And God would say, why should I let you into my heaven? God would ask you, why should I permit you to live eternally in my heaven? What would you say? Would you say, I went to Gethsemane Church? Won't work. Won't work. 
Would you say, well, you know, I believe in, I believe in you, Lord. I believe, I just believe in God. It won't work. The only answer, and it has to, it's not just words that can be spoken from the lips. It's words that have to be, that have to come from the heart. It's the blood of Jesus Christ. But I have surrendered my life to Christ. I have accepted Jesus Christ, your son, as my personal Savior. And I live my life for him. That's the answer. That's the preparation. That means our heart has been converted. That means our conscience has been cleansed. That means we've given our whole life. You done that tonight. If not, this altar is open. 